Hey everyone, thanks for stopping by and watching our video today. I'm Steve. And I'm Gary, and uh, today we're going to talk about the Windows 7 Action Center. Have you ever uh, been just using your computer and you get the little pop-up windows that come up, like they tell you that you have updates, or they tell you that you have like a security change that needs to be made, or they tell you that you should back up your computer? Man, they're irritating. Yeah, there's a lot of them. That's kind of what I was getting to. You know. Sometimes it's good to have these things so you get reminded that you may need to maintain your computer a little bit, but other times it's kind of like, you know, why? Why, why, do, why do I need to know about this? So today we're going to show you something, the Windows Action Center, that's going to show you how to eliminate some of these annoying pop-ups that come up that Windows wants to tell you about, even though you may not need them. So let's turn to the computer here we'll take a look. Okay, the first thing we need to do is get to the Windows Action Center, which is pretty easy. Hit the Start button and type in Action Center and hit enter. Ah, there it is. Now if you go to change action center setting, yeah, let me try that again. Change action center settings, say that three times real fast, and you'll get all these messages that you can turn on and off. Maybe I don't want to know about Windows updates. Maybe I don't want to know what my firewall is doing. Maybe I don't want to know what my virus is doing. Okay, probably I do. Um, maybe I don't want to know about user account control. Any of this stuff that's annoying or that's popping up and that's driving me nuts, like check for updates. You know, I have my computer set to check for updates. I don't want it to remind me that it's doing it. I'm not going to pat it on the back or something. So, but anyhow, uncheck anything here that you don't really think is necessary and that you're sick of seeing and just hit OK. And that's it. Those little bubbles will be gone forever. Well, that's pretty simple, right? You can go in there and just make those changes and make it so Windows becomes a little less annoying. That's always a good thing. So hey, if you're watching this on YouTube, go over to worldstart.com. Check out everything. we got a ton of stuff over there. You're just going to love it. Uh, sign up for our newsletter, our computer tips newsletter. It's free. Get it five days a week. You know, all these great video tips that you're seeing here, those are in there, plus you know, probably half a dozen other great tips every single day. So make sure you head over there. If you have a question, we'd love to hear from you. worldstart.com slash ask. Thanks.